What's up? It's Todd. I'm just going to show you guys today how easy it is to get rid of some some little minor elements that you might not have wanted uh, in a photo originally. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be using mostly the patch tool and the clone tools, the clone stamp. Um, I'm just going to get started right away. Just going to drag around the red leaves I don't want. Obviously, it wouldn't have been smart for us to just take our dog and say, be like, okay, go run through the flowers. Busy park, and there's like a million people running around. And he's a year old. He's practically still a puppy. So uh, he would have taken off. So obviously, there's certain situations where you can't always get it right in the camera. You have to, uh, you know, rely on post-processing, basically. I'm just taking the clone stamp and just touching up some areas that look a little messed up from what the patch tool did. There's supposed to be some content aware uh, fill feature that everyone's raving about in the new Photoshop CS5 that's to come out uh, pretty soon. Now, these are the defocused areas that I'm working, so it's you don't have to be so picky. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect. It would be a little bit more difficult if these, these flowers here were all in sharp focus, but in this case, they're not, so that's good for us in this case. And I'm just going to make sure I'm getting rid of this this rough edge. You can even go over it with the patch tool again if you wanted to. You can just repeat areas that the patch tool screwed up or that you screwed up with the patch tool, <laughs> however you want to word it. Uh, you like how that's coming out, so I'm going to take a darker area here. I'm going to actually lower my flow a little bit and kind of fade it, kind of like an airbrush. And this stem, I think, will bring up a little bit watching Bob Ross on TV today on public television <laughs> it's kind of like oh I'm gonna make a pretty little flower stem just a pretty little flower stem. all right this is a little tougher area over here once you get into the area where you're dealing with hair as you don't I mean is anyone gonna really know that this wasn't a perfect you know sharp edge of his hair here I don't know maybe not maybe they will I mean in my case, I'm selling stock imagery. Um, I really don't care, honestly, because you know what? These people are seeing this shot at web sizes. They're not going to know that it's not, you know, this isn't the way it was. I'm just going to fade it. I've got still my flaw on 20%. Fading this over here. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to go over it a little bit more just until I get most of the red out. And look. It's almost perfect. You'd never even know there was anything red behind his head because it kind of starts to blend in with the browns in his fur. If you want to sharpen it up a little bit, you can highlight this little selection here and then find a similar area on his head that has some kind of texture to it. Here, if I just drag over, that works. I don't know if that, there's before. Eh, either way. Uh, I'm going to just leave it alone. And then we just have this little spot over here on his back where the red leash was connected to his harness. I'm gonna drag this over. That's gone. Get this little piece right here. I really love this tool. This thing's a freaking lifesaver. Go like this. Now they're kind of clouded up a little bit. I'm gonna get a sharper edge. Okay, that's good enough. And here he's got his harness still on, but. You could go crazy. I just don't feel like it at this point. That's good enough. It looks just like the dog is, you know, walking through the flowers all by himself. 